Hello and welcome to Kitely and uh, it's Friday's Let's Talk About It session. We're on Tabletop Mountain with Shiny and April and guys have a little look around, see what you notice, see what you can name. Okay, what do you think we're going to talk about today? <laughs> Yeah, it's Ladies' Day. Although somebody contacted me earlier, but I don't know who they are, so I'm not putting them in my contacts yet. I don't mind people sending me contact requests, but they need to tell me whether they're um, just open sim users or if they're members of the forum and they want to take part in sessions, because there's a difference on how how I handle the contact request. I asked him, who are you? And he went, or she, I don't know, went, I don't know, who am I? <laughs> okay, we're going to play riddles, are we? <laughs> it's like a safari, isn't it? Now, what do you mean by safari, April? When you say safari, what do you mean? Uh, I mean that it's the place where uh, a lot of uh, wild animals, actually, like, uh, oh, <laughs> it's uh, the top <laughs> Can you hear it? Yes, I can hear ah. it. Hello! <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, and, uh, but th they look quite uh, thin. Is that thin? Nice? Okay, yeah, you Not could well. say. Okay, so we've got the word zoo as well. Okay, so like a safari, like a zoo. Well, a safari is very different to a zoo. Okay. Uh, Shiny, what do you think of when you think of a zoo? Fence. Fences. Wall. Yeah, cages, fences, walls, animals. animals. There's another word for a collection of animals that you might have heard of if you've learnt French. A menagerie. Okay. Have you heard of that word, April? Isn't it only... Isn't it, yeah, but I thought that imagery is more for uh, horses. No, 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 no. Any collection of animals, wild animals especially. So, a menagerie. A moment. It's I okay. Can, I can So you've got menagerie, then you've got zoo. Okay, so if you've got a menagerie and a zoo, it's like a zoo. A menagerie is like a zoo, but it's more likely to be private property. A zoo tends to be public, like Berlin Zoo, Edinburgh Zoo, London Zoo. They're open to the public. A menagerie is almost like a zoo, but it's usually owned privately, okay? It's owned by a collector, somebody who collects animals and then puts them in cages just like a zoo. So this is like a menagerie in a, w in a way. Uh, but of course, you know what we're going to talk about. You know what um, the discussion topic is today, because I mentioned it on Tuesday and I know you wouldn't forget, would you? <laughs> Not far from my house, there is a park, mm -hmm. and there is also that kind of a menagerie, but uh, all in cages. Uh, but do you know? Do you know? Or do you want to know what uh, what kind of animal are there? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Mouse, mice, mice, and uh, uh, birds. Mice and birds. Okay. Different kind of uh, birds. Yeah, it's lovely. Okay, well, there are words that we can use. I mean, I would call that uh, a menagerie per person, especially if it's open to the public and free, even though it's um, not strictly pri on private land. I wouldn't call it a zoo. A zoo you normally have to pay to get into. 
but I've seen they don't really exist in the UK. Um, you might find an aviary in a park in the UK. Do you know what I mean by an aviary? Uh, this is about birds. That's it, yes. That's purely yeah. for birds. Okay. I'm just trying to see if I've got um, any kind of birds in my... No, I haven't really. I've got a tea bird, but that's not quite what I wanted. <laughs> What's on the bird stand? Let's have a look. Okay, but there's no bird to put on it. I think I've got an owl somewhere. Um, but he'll start talking to us if I if I um, actually res him, of course. No. It was in your heart, I think, no? It was, okay. yeah. He's, sti he's still around. Uh, wise old owl. He's still around, but he will start talking to us if I um, res him, so let's not. <laughs> But yeah, aviaries might have bedrigars, parrots, peacocks, um, although peacocks often, oh, I wonder if I've got a peacock, uh, they often wander around without being in a cage because they can't fly away, I guess. Uh, but no, I haven't. I need to get more animals. If anybody's got any animals, then send them to me. <laughs> so what animals, what's the biggest animal here? What's the largest animal here? in our menagerie. The largest, for me, the largest is the elephant. Okay, the, the largest is the... Uh, is that, is that the same? No, it's not zebra. What is that then? Oh, I always mix up the, the, those both animals. The zebra and the... <laughs> <laughs> the giraffe. Okay, so the elephant is the largest, but the giraffe is the tallest. Now, I wonder, is an elephant larger than a giraffe? Hmm. Because they're both pretty good. But by weight, they are much larger. Okay, if you go by weight. <laughs> Okay, but of course giraffes are much taller because giraffes are about eight can can reach eighteen feet eighteen feet tall. Okay, if you can imagine that. Personally, I can't, but uh, <laughs> I've seen a giraffe in the wild. Have you ever seen a giraffe in the wild, either of you? Oh, yeah. Vinay's online. Yeah, they are incredible and they're so huge. And of course they grew tall that tall so that they could reach the top of the trees where the juiciest leaves are and not compete with the elephant which can only reach the trees with its trunk. Do we have to categorize uh an elephant as a wild animal or not? Yes. Elephants are considered wild animals. Now, of course, in some countries, they're actually work animals. Hi, Vinay. Now, Hi. in Japan, they, they, they keep Everything I have fat in Japan because I also last time what was that again? The other animal that uh, I want yeah. In Japan the, they keep everything, every animal as a pet. Yep. Well it it seems to be something that people are drawn to do. Um I'm not sure why, but some people just want to keep strange animals. Uh, so we've got these these are what I'd call wild animals but if you were to then make them your pet <laughs> then they'd be called exotic animals exotic animals okay 
some people say unusual pets. If you wanted to do a Google search, you could search for unusual pets. I mean, we know what usual pets are, don't we? Dog, cat, rabbit, even chickens are normal pets nowadays. Hamsters. <laughs> But a giraffe or an elephant, would you consider them as a pet ever? It is actually odd because uh, in Thailand, for example, or in India, I mean, uh, they keep elephants as kind of pets because uh, they live near the house. And uh, they, they play with the, the elephant, so it, it is like pets in Thailand and Japan, uh, in Japan, in uh, Thailand and India, no? And Indonesia, yeah. So it can what what what's considered a pet can vary depending on the country, as well. What's usual for you might be very unusual for me. Vinay, what about you? Would you keep an elephant as a pet? <laughs> no, we don't keep elephant as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in India, in India, some people uh, have uh, pets have elephant as a pet, uh, um, like. Uh, they use the, uh, their pets for uh, tourists. So they're more uh, like tourist. work, working animals. They're more working animals, yeah? Uh, when, uh, the, when tourists comes in India, uh, they ride on elephant. So some people use elephant as a pet uh, for, tour, uh, for tourism purpose only. Okay. They must take it. They must cost a lot to feed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you see, you just would not find that in the UK. Maybe you would see an elephant at the zoo, maybe in a circus, or um, an animal, a wildlife park. I don't know if you've heard of wildlife parks. Okay. In ancient king's time, uh, the pet, uh, the elephant. Uh, uh, the elephants were used by the kings uh, in war-like situation. Yeah, in the Maharaja yeah. uh, would have yeah. their own Ma elephant. They'd, I've seen on some of these TV shows and films riding on the back of an elephant with a very elaborate, um, I don't even know what you'd call it, but like a little house on the elephant's back. Poor elephant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, interesting, interesting. But they're not really house pets, are they? They wouldn't fit into your no, flat, no. no. <laughs> Shaggy, <laughs> would you would you want uh, not a carriage? No, I'm not sure. I think there's a special word for somebody who um, handles the elephants. A marmut, I think. Marmut, is that right? Um, let's see if I've got it right. Was it Mahout? Oh yeah, a Mahout, not a Mahmoud. A, a Mahout is the person who basically trains or keeps elephants. As I say, the, the elephants can be used for work or for tourism. They tend to be for money. Um, we, we would in English, it would be maybe an elephant handler, yeah? Somebody who handles the animal, or an elephant trainer, somebody who trains the animal. I'm trying to figure out what the um, contraption is. Uh, elephant ride contraption. 
let's see what it's called. If I can find um I think it's got different names actually. Now in in the UK there's a lot of yeah people don't like um the tourism industry when they use animals like this people are a bit more aware of the conditions and how they're handled oh hi welcome back april <laughs> did you crash or did did the baby pr press the wrong button <laughs> No, I suddenly I didn't hear it anymore. You were oh. uh, explaining the carriage, and then yeah. I didn't hear anything. I wanted to write two, 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 but it were uh, it it wasn't uh, it wasn't sent. Ah, so I think okay, okay it's crap. Yeah, it's a crap. Yeah. Okay, all I can find is it's called the contraption on their back. Oh, it's a, a chair. Okay, they call it a chair. <laughs> um, but the best thing I think would be howder. The howder. That's the actual, um, I think, Indonesian word, actually. But you could call it the contraption. The contraption. Now, personally, I... I went to South Africa. I didn't ride on the elephants. I'm, I like elephants to be in the wild. I like them to be not in a zoo or a menagerie or even in somebody's private collection as a pet. Uh, I like seeing them where they belong in the wild, in the jungle. Jungle elephants are so cool. But that's personal choice. Um, there's nothing illegal about riding them at the moment. They would eat a heck of a lot, yes. <laughs> okay, I'll share a link with you um, that actually discusses this, which you can read if you want to on the forum. Okay, what about a giraffe? Have you ever heard of anybody keeping a giraffe as a pet? Can you imagine it? Yes, in the past. Okay. Well, all, all of these animals at some time were brought to the UK and given as pets to the king or the queen of the day. Bears, elephants, uh, giraffes. <laughs> they usually ended up in London Zoo, if they were lucky. <laughs> but it would be a terrible pet to have. Why? Well, it's the tallest animal in the world. You'd have to have very high ceilings if you wanted it as a house pet, I think. But have a look at this. Um, have a look at this photograph and describe what you see, April. If you could look at the photo, can you open it first? Let's make sure you can open it, and then describe it. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> What's happening? I see. I think this. Uh, people that the family <laughs> lives lives in uh, maybe they are uh, a, a zoo keeper, <laughs> so that's why uh, they live near the maybe inside the the, the zoo, and uh, from time to time they have uh, a visitor from uh, from the zoo <laughs> like here the giraffe. <laughs> And what's giraffe. the giraffe doing? What's the giraffe doing? Uh, I think he is asking for some food. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's going to either steal food, because he's big enough to, isn't he? <laughs> he's going to stop him. <laughs> or he's begging for food, yes. Now, I'd call that begging, by the way, not asking um, or stealing. 
Okay, so, um, I'd like you to read this text. Hang on a second. So, April, this is for you to read. We're all going to do a bit of reading today. April. Okay, thank you. Um, in many ways, as the setting is just a typical family breakfast, young children and their mother enjoy croissants and orange juice while sitting around a table together. But things become a little different when you notice a giraffe poking its head through the window to join them for a drink and a bite to eat. In fact, the Carl Hartley family has the unusual distinction of sharing their home with eight Rothschild giraffes, some of the rarest on the planet. Talk about weird, pet, weird pets in the shadow of Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, on the planet top. Oh, sorry, on the planet top. About. No, no, no. About, on the planet top, ab uh, about weird pets in the shadow of Mount Kilimanjaro. The world's tallest animals are free to roam their 140 acre estate and are regular visitors at their English style manor built in the colonial era. Every day, shortly before 9 a.m., the mammal beasts stroll up to the house and poke their heads through the windows and doors in search of morning treats. Owners Tanya and Mikey Carr Hartley literally share their dining, dining room table with them. They know all of the giraffes by name. 13 year old Lynn, oh, Lynn, you are only 13 year old, is the leader of the hat and can be very fair. Oh, yes, hang on. Uh, that uh -huh. should be. But it's done that cut and paste thing again. Hang on a second. Um, bear with me. Okay. And can be very. Okay, and can be very persistent about getting treats. That's mm, it, yes. Yeah. Spoiled. <laughs> they are spoiled. Spoiled, <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, you did struggle with this a little bit. Let me, um, let me read it for you. What you have to do with this part of the text is really pay attention to the punctuation. So what we've got here is, in fact, the Carr Hartley family has the unusual distinction of sharing their home with eight Rothschild giraffes, some of the rarest on the planet. Talk about weird pets. In the shadow of Mount Kilimanjaro, the world's tallest animals are free to roam their 140-acre estate and are regular visitors at their English-style manor built in the colonial era. Okay, so that one in the middle is a separate sentence. It's like a little aside to the reader. Oh my goodness, talk about weird pets. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I couldn't see the... The, 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 the full stop. Uh, dot, uh, the full stop and the uh, capital I before the... In, ah, in the okay, in. I've got yeah, you. Yeah, I couldn't see that... Uh, <laughs> Clearly, that's why. Okay, that's why I'll I forgive was... you then. I'll forgive you. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't forget, it's a full stop in British English and a period in American English. Ah, okay. Okay. And dot. Can you say also a dot? A dot is only if it's in something like dot 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 dash 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 dot dot dot. Okay. Or a pattern of dots. Uh, and dot com, of course on URLs, on uh, website addresses, okay? Okay, Selby's found somebody. <laughs> oh, 
Are they lost? <laughs> okay, I'll send them. Okay, we've got we've got a lost lamb on the on the network. So let me send them. <laughs> Lost lamb? Yeah, a little lost lamb. <laughs> there are two little lambs who have lost their way. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> okay, Selby. Okay, sorry, I'm a bit distracted. I've got Selby contacting me, which is very kind of him, looking after our uh, lost members. Okay, so... Okay, so let's hope that works, and then they'll turn up here. Okay, so yes, period, full stop, that's punctuation. Dot, it's the shape, it's what we use in URLs, in website addresses, uh, .co.uk, that kind of thing, and a little mark on a piece of paper that's not punctuation. Okay, it's all about context, remember. <laughs> Okay, any other questions? Any questions about the text? Hello, Lau. Nice to see you. Lau, in the future, if you need to find us, it's best to do it through Kitely. Okay, um, I'll give you the link. Okay, I hope you can hear me. Okay. Hello. I, mean, I am just. I just wonder why they keep the, the oldest. The, wow. The oldest. Uh, maybe they want to preserve. The <laughs> <laughs> well, if you notice, if you notice, April in the text it says one of the rarest. There are different kinds. You know how there are different breeds and kinds of dog and bird. There are also different kinds of animals and different kinds of giraffe. So maybe they want to preserve the giraffe this particular kind, the Rothschild giraffe, okay? This particular breed of giraffe. And certainly they've got the space. I wouldn't call the giraffes pets, but I would say they're tame. No, <laughs> stay. <laughs> that is for next time. Can you hear us? We are speaking. Okay, we, we use voice here. Okay. Uh, let me give you a link. Okay, there is something there are some things you can do to help yourself. And we're all about helping yourself here. Uh, let me just find the link. Groups. Virtual worlds. Where is it? So, uh, we are streaming, so I can send you the link for now, okay? Um, what I've got to do first though is find the stream link. Sorry about this guys, just you know what it's like when a new member comes, we have to give them a bit of a helping hand. <laughs> okay. channel mm -hmm. uh, 
help if I could find my channel. We're getting there. Bear with me whilst I sort this out. Ugh. something okay I can't share that okay but not my voice hmm, that is a shame because um, at this moment in time I can't seem to log in to get you my voice something's broken so switch account ah here it is okay <laughs> takes a bit of time sometimes to do this stuff I'm afraid getting there. <coughs> okay. Where's the stream? Ah, live streams. They've moved everything. They have moved everything. And they're not making it live for me. Okay, sorry, I can't do it right now. Um, normally I know how to do this, but they've moved everything around. So mm, I'll have to do I will send you the link later. It's not working. For me, I don't know why, but it isn't. It's like it's done something really stupid. Oh, maybe this will work. Ah, no, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Ignore me. <laughs> Why do they move everything? So here's the stream link. There you go. <laughs> Try. Yeah. Okay. So, sorry about that. <laughs> I better close all that stuff down before I, uh, yeah, crash. Okay, so yes, some families are keeping giraffes as pets. Who would have thought it? Now, the next one that we're going to look at, and this time um, I'm going to share a different... <coughs> now, I'm, I sadly haven't got a crocodile, but I have got the next best thing, which is an alligator. <laughs> okay, this one is going to be for Shiny. Shiny! Watch out, he's coming for you. Okay, Shiny, so here's your text. If you remember the crocodile hunter Steve Yifang, uh, Yifang, Yifang, from Australia, you know very well that uh, what these things can grow up to be, unlike lizards, which are tamed and less harmful, crocodiles can be the same up until they are the same size. I could keep exotic animals as pets, but a crocodile, no. They eventually grow out their enclosures 
and require more space and food as size and age increases expo uh, exponentially. Exponentially, you can never turn your back on the crocodile and keeping this reptile is a special waste job. Undoubt undoubtedly, you should ask the people of Florida how every day a crocodile is swimming in their backyard pools. Pool, pools. Now that is frightening. Yikes! Very good. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a crocodile as a pet, hmm, it happens. And every year in America, there are stories of crocodiles being found in the sewers and as they say here, swimming in people's swimming pools in their backyards um, because they naturally occur, um, but people also release them into the wilds. Okay, and they, do you know how large a crocodile can get? Um, is that something you know or have you just guessed? I just guessed because I have seen crocodiles and I think it's about 2 meters, 2 Okay, wow. they can actually grow to a length of um, uh, five meters. Okay, in fact, the saltwater crocodile in Australia, which is very dangerous, can grow to a length of five and a half meters. So, yeah, very big. <laughs> But nicely red, shiny. Well done. Now, the first word I want to just show you is from to tame. So they tamed. They People try to tame. I mean, trying to tame crocodiles. They're the nearest thing we think we have to dinosaurs. But anyway, try it. Tamed. Tamed. That's right. Now, we do have the River Thames. So, but that's got an H in it. So the River Thames, but to tame, yeah, to tame your temper, <laughs> to tame a wild animal. Um, in circuses, they tame the animals so that they will perform. So I don't go to circuses as well, by the way. But they tame the wild animal. They train it and tame it. Okay, but I've never. I can't imagine a crocodile or an alligator ever being tamed. They are so primeval. Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> Okay, and the other one, you did very well. You worked it out exponentially. But do you know what it means? <laughs> more and more fast. Yes, more and more quickly. That's right. And quite often it's used in mathematics, exponential growth. Okay, well done. Any questions about the text? Make sure you don't turn your back on that crocodile, shiny. Then in the first paragraph at the end, uh, unlike lizards, which are tamed and less harmful, crocodiles can be. Should be uh, it to be? Uh, oh, should we word? tend to be the same tend up until be, okay. they are the same size? Tend to be. Yes, yeah, sorry. They tend. Well spotted. They tend to be the same, and uh, up until they are the same size. Okay, so that's a crocodile. Now, what kind of animal is a crocodile? If an elephant and a giraffe are mammals, what is a crocodile? It's an animal, they're all animals here, including the bird flying above us, but what kind of animal is a crocodile? Yes. <laughs> 
and PVM. Now that's really good. Yeah, well done. Are they amphibian? Uh, does anybody think they are? Ah, okay, that's it. They are actually reptiles. Sorry. It was a good guess though, Vinay. <laughs> so, they are reptiles. Can anybody else, can you name any animal that is also a reptile? Snake. Snakes, yeah. Snakes are reptiles. Yeah. Anyone else? There's one near you. Well, gecko is a type of... What's a gecko? A type of... Lizard? Lizards. Yeah, lizards are reptiles. And believe it or not, your favourite one from the pet sessions, April. T turtles and tortoises. Turtles. Ah, and tortoises. Are they, are they reptiles? <laughs> they are reptiles. And what is the, oh, I... Lynn, the, the names of uh, uh, the it, it looks like um, crocodile, but small, and they keep it ex as exotic pets. My nephew has that, has that, but I can't even come to the name. Or is the special name? With, uh, well, there are crocodiles and sorry. alligators. Alligators uh, are smaller, but they're still not pets for me, really. Um, it is green. It is green. <laughs> Frog? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Has it got big sharp oh, teeth? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Small ones. Uh, and they eat actually... Uh, Kaiman. Uh, leaves. A Kaiman, maybe? Kaiman? No. No? Not Kaiman. Oh, I, I don't, don't know, know that word. Oh. Okay, I I didn't uh, since last week I was thinking of the name of that that uh, that uh, animal, but I can't come to that now. I can't come to that name. I mean, oof. I I can't think of one that would be. I mean, it's like a crocodile but small. Yeah, and you can keep it as. Uh, uh, as uh, pets, as exotic pets. Not um, and what is the other name? The other uh, one in that uh, change color? Oh, that's a chameleon. That's it's not like a crocodile. A that's chameleon, a lizard. Yeah. A chameleon. It's not, yeah. Oh yeah, it's bigger than than chameleon and sure it's more. Sure, it's a uh, No. There's the caiman. The alligator and the crocodile, and the caiman is the smallest. They're smaller than alligators and crocodiles, but they're very aggressive. I wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't want to cuddle a caiman. <laughs> Welcome back, Leo. Welcome back, Leo. Hi. Hi. Well done. You got it working. Woo! Well done. Yes, I restart the the program. Okay, that sometimes works. <laughs> Um, it is it is an issue with these programs. I'm afraid they are a little greedy, and you have to have your settings just so for them to work. But uh, so, Lao, um, how how do I pronounce your name again? I know you came to speak easy, but I've forgotten. Is it Lao? Yeah. It is Lao. Okay, good, good. Um, Lao, have you ever had an exotic pet? Do you keep a pet? Do you have a pet? Uh, in the past, uh, I, have, I had a, a sheep dog. Oh, sorry, a what kind of dog? Uh, a German. German uh, dog. Oh, a German Shepherd? Like an Alsatian? Or a dog? Uh, I, th I think, uh, yes, uh, yeah. Yeah. Or a do there's a Doberman as well, but, uh, and there's a German Pinscher as well. So there's lots of different kinds of dogs. Sorry, we've had a session on the different kinds of dogs before, so I'm not sure <laughs> if I want to go too much into it. But did it look like this? Hang on. Um, let me just... 
Yes, a German uh, uh, shepherd, yeah. Does he look like the dog? Agreed to. Yeah, yeah, it's... Yes. Yeah, okay, that's an Alsatian or German shepherd. Yeah, beautiful dogs. Beautiful dogs. Not exotic, though. They're, beautiful they're and intelligent. Very intelligent. Very easy to... I mean, the police use them a lot, as do search and rescue teams. They use them a lot. But I wouldn't call him an exotic pet. So... Uh, do people in your country keep exotic pets? Where are you from? Uh, I am from uh, uh, Italy. I live uh, in the south part of Italy, uh, Brindisi. I don't know if you call uh, the city. Uh, can you, Florence, is it maybe? <laughs> oh, no, I don't know that place. No, sorry. Brindisi. No, I've Have you tried uh, with Florence? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, looks like it's called Brindisi ah. in Apulia in southern Italy. Okay, I just came yeah, back yeah, yeah, yeah. I just came back from Rome, believe it or not. Mm, yeah, um, which uh, other city uh, do you know? Uh, Poppy, uh, Florence. I've been to Florence, I've been to Poppy, uh, I've been to Abruzzo. Ah, okay. Uh, so you you have been in the center, in the north. Uh, Central and north. I I, I've never made it yeah. down south, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, it's uh, wrong. <laughs> uh, you must visit the, the south because it's uh, uh, different from uh, the other parts. It's it was uh, in the past. Difficult to get to. <laughs> but... It's a long way for <laughs> us. Because we always drive, you see. We have a camper van, we drive. Ah, yeah. 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 You can try to uh, taking a bike and uh, do a, a tour. <laughs> I'm far too old for that. <laughs> so, really, I don't think of exotic pets when I think of Italy. Um, I can't think of any Italians who keep exotic pets. Uh. No. Uh, Maybe turtles. Exotic, uh, in it. Yeah, I have uh, a turtle, a hair turtle. Ah, turtle. Okay, yeah, I, I can think of turtles, and um, I know, I know that. But uh, I, I think that uh, are uh, usually uh, pets uh, also for uh, English, uh, German. Oh, yes. Yeah. Turtles and tortoises. Are ca but they are protected now. They're protected in Europe because, uh, of course, people smuggle them. Mm, yes, uh, they are protected. But uh, uh, in the part uh, where I live, uh, you can uh, uh, find uh, it uh, in, the, in the around. Well, strangely, I've just found um, an article that says every year Italy's police and forest guard rescue around 400 exotic animals, <laughs> people smuggling monkeys and things like that. So that's weird, but there you go. <laughs> it obviously is also popular in Italy. Okay, so reptiles. Uh, uh, do you understand what we mean? What I mean when I say a reptile? Yeah. We were just talking about yeah, yeah. crocodiles. Yeah, I don't like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not much to like, really, is there? But people do keep them as pets. Even alligators and crocodiles, snakes and lizards, turtles and tortoises. They're not very exciting, though, are they? <laughs> okay, so any questions from that text? Apart from that to be the same up until... Of what? I don't uh, oh, sorry, um, you missed the reading. Uh, April read some text for us, and now it's going to be Vinay's turn, if he's ready. And Vinay, I'm going yes. to give you your pet here. We just talked about reptiles and lizards. Would you keep a pet as a lizard as a pet? <laughs> 
Right. Never. <laughs> he, he wants to be your pet. Come on. <laughs> Look, he's so cute. <laughs> Oh, take me home, take me home. I, w I, I, w I wouldn't want to keep uh, Lizard as a pet in future. <laughs> Never. <laughs> but some people do. Some people do. Okay. So, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. Here's your text. There is my text. Yep, it's coming. I'm just trying to see if I can... Okay. Okay, there you go. Yes. Can you see, can you recognize the picture there that uh, I have I put the link? That is what I want to say. But I still can come to the link. Uh, hang on. That's not like a crocodile. That's nothing like a crocodile. <laughs> that's a lizard. Uh, that's probably exactly what we're just about to talk about. Okay. It's not a lizard. It's, it's a lizard. Name, but, uh, <laughs> it's a lizard. Or are you thinking of a salamander, maybe? But still, nothing like a salamander. Mm. Salamanders. They're fascinating. They are. But uh... I got it. Iguana. Ah, and igu iguana. still a lizard. It's a lizard. Iguana. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and a salamander and iguana. Okay, so Vinay, ha April's happy now. Would you like to uh, read your text? <laughs> Hold on, don't be disgusted. I'll just yeah. The dragon lizard tends to look like something out of the Hobbit, but in reality, they are one of the gentlest rept reptiles out there. Despite their looks. And being very strange animals, they love to be fondled and enjoy the occasional misty showers. Often kept in glass aquariums, they are diurnal, that is, stay up during day and sleep at night. So you can watch them when you are awake. The dragon lizards show great temperaments and can be handled so well. In fact, even Children can play them as well. Supervise, of course. Let's face it. Selfie with this sucker on the shoulder is a definite eye popper. <laughs> Shall we see? Hang on. Let's, um, don't move. Okay. Let's see what it would look like as a selfie on your shoulder. So. Okay. There you go. Crocodile <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a photo. Oh, I have to take a photo of Oh don't move, don't move, don't move. <laughs> no, stop moving. I'm gonna take a photo quickly. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of this little. <laughs> yeah. Okay, stay still, oh. stay still, stay still, don't move, and click. Okay, I've got you. <laughs> hey, oh. This sucker will stay. <laughs> no, he won't, he won't stay still. Hang on. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Break uh, back away from me, you sucker. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Your your I've got you a selfie with you as a, your pet lizard, your new pet lizard. <laughs> He's friendly. It says they're very friendly and they like to be cuddled. So maybe maybe I'd consider one as a pet if I had no dog <laughs> or cat or cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any questions about the text? So, oh, just a couple of words, first of all, sorry. Um, the first one, it's a bit unfair, I know, but we talk about things that are real, but then we talk about reality. So we often talk about real life, but then we have reality. And that comes into, like, virtual reality. 
Okay. Try it. Reality. Reality. That's it. Good. Yeah. And then showers. Showers. That's it. So you can have a brief spell of rain. It's a shower. Or you can go, instead of having a bath, you can have a shower. Same pronunciation. Okay. Then watch. You've got to get that ch at the end. Watch. watch. That's it. And then the watch. last one is, is a common little saying. Um, let's face it. When somebody's trying to explain something to you, um, so let's face it, money doesn't go, grow on... No, you can't have a Ferrari. Let's face it, money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> okay? Try it. Let's face it. Let's face it. That's it. So let's is, of course, short for let us. But we wouldn't say let us face it. We'd say, oh, let's face it. Uh, we're going to run out of time again. Um, and then that'll be it. But let's, before we finish, uh, let's make sure that Lao, Le, because he's spent all this time getting into the um, program. And uh, it would be a shame not to let you read. Lao, would you like to do some reading? Yeah, why not? But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, uh, your problem <laughs> to listening me. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, there's your text if you'd like to try reading it, okay? Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, they uh, make rather usual pets in appearance. Yeah, make sure you keep your microphone open. We've lost sound. Oh, can anybody hear? Now? No, I thought that it was my voice again. Yeah, I know. Open. No, it's okay. um, sorry. Now we've lost voice. Hmm. Okay. Okay, now. okay, got you back. Um, okay, okay, one, okay. One, one. okay. They uh, make rather unusual pets in appearance. People uh, often mistake uh, these intelligent and small animals as a whole creature in their heads, forgetting they only uh, stiffen their spirits when they feel uh, treated. Otherwise, they are uh, humble and strictly mild. They own they own business pets, easily comparable to hamsters. Uh, despite uh, they sensitive to uh, surroundings, uh, at the go, I don't know uh, this uh, this word. At the at the hog are. You are usually shy uh, creatures. They tend to develop uh, good personality, tough breeder over uh, interaction, requiring a lot of time and commitment. Expect to bond with your pet like you would with an infant. Now, is, to, uh, is that uh, just so uh, adorable? Very good. Well done. Now, I tend not to interrupt you, okay? I let you get on with it because that's what real life is like. People don't interrupt you. But what I do do is give you the corrections at the end, okay? And yes, you're right. You need a little bit of help with pronunciation, okay? So let's have a look at the words. Oh, uh, yeah. The first one is rather. I'd rather drink tea in the morning than coffee. So rather. Try it. Rather. That's it. Then appearance. Your appearance, the way you look. So, appearance. Try it. Appearance. Perfect. Well done. And then a hedgehog has spines. Spines. But uh, uh, I don't. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, what meaning. I'm going to share it with you. Okay. So I'm going to share a picture with you. Just open it, and that's a hedgehog. 
Okay. Now, hedgehog and hamster. They've got the voiced H, and I know that's a problem for Italians. You just got to get used to saying hamster. Try it. Hamster. That's it. That's a little pet rodent. Looks like a mouse, but with no tail. Okay, a hamster. Then the hedgehogs. 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 That's it. I was going to say there's two H's. Hedge and hog. So hedgehogs. <laughs> then the next one, I know it looks like to create, but it's not. It's a creature. So to create is the verb, but a creature because it's a noun. Creature. Try it. Okay, uh, creatures. Perfect. Then, welcome to the O U G H sound through. Can you repeat it? Through. Ah, okay. Through. That's it. It sounds just like through. Now we've got trough, though, through. You have to just learn them. Okay, that comes with practice. Don't panic. It comes with practice. Okay. So now. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, I think we maybe carry on this topic next week. What do you think, guys? Shall we? Or have you heard yeah. enough of animals? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of interesting vocabulary and. Uh, I, what about you, Shiny? Are you okay with that? Oh, Shiny's gone off to make a cup of tea. Okay, um, I won't ask you, though, because you haven't been doing quite as much. Oh, Shiny, what do you think? Shall we carry on next week with this topic? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, cool, cool. No, I don't want to bore you because we've been doing it for a couple of weeks now. So and uh, there was a, ba a gap last week. Lau, you're probably fine to carry on because this is your first session. But <laughs> I don't like to bore people. But we'll carry on next week. And uh, if you look at my at this rock behind me, yes, people do keep these as pets too. So um, <laughs> I can't believe it, but they do. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'll be in Discord in quarter of an hour. I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea and maybe I'll see some of you there. If not, have a lovely weekend and we'll see each other, I'm sure, in a session next week. You too, Shiny. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Bye, April. Bye. Thanks bye. for coming. Bye. And well done for finding bye, us. Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. See you. Bye. Yeah. Bye.